Hey, in this screencast, I want to talk a little bit about inheritance. As, you, as you've seen throughout this course, CSS variables behave very much as other CSS properties in that their values are inherited and cascade. However, there are a few things that you maybe would think that would work, but which doesn't. And I want to explain those two in this screencast. Now, the first one is that you can create variables based upon other variables. Let's say that we, for example, call one variable main color and we want it to simply be the red color. Now we can refer to main color instead of red, for example, down here in the anchor tags in the navbar. Let's do that. They are still red now. And here you might be fooled to think that you could actually do like this and update the red or override the red variable here to something else. Let's just, let's just change it to orange instead, for example. And you could expect that that would override the red, which again would override main color. But as you can see, that isn't happening because main color, the value of that has already been resolved to the value of red. So main color doesn't have a reference to the variable. It only points to the value. However, if you were to rather update the main color here like that, as you can see, then it works. So that's something you should be aware of. And the second thing is that we've here set the color of the age ones and the paragraphs to red specifically. And you don't actually need this. We could have just taken this away and the page would look identical. However, if you now were to, for example, update the red value here to, let's say, do orange here as well. Then you can see that the H1 isn't updated. And that's because it has inherited the H1, the color red from the body, though it, is, though it has only inherited the value of the variable. It doesn't inherit the variable itself. So again, it's this about referencing the value or the variable. And we have to explicitly tell it to reference the variable in order to be able to then change the h1 tag with this overriding here. Now you can see it is indeed orange. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. If it was, feel free to ask any questions in the Q&A section and I'll reply as soon as I can.